A very good afternoon. You're watching the Midday News on Rajya Sabha Television. I'm Ashwarya and these are the headlines. Rajya Sabha adjourned till 2 p.m. after protests by members over multiple issues. Joint Committee Report on Citizenship Amendment Bill 2016 tabled. Triple the Lark Bill in today's agenda. Doubts are raised on my statement on HAL contracts incorrect and misleading, says Defence Minister Nirmala Sitaraman in Lok Sabha. Speaker suspends AIA, DMK, TDP members for repeated disruptions. BJP says allegations by SP and BSP of political vendetta over possible CBI questioning of Akhilesh Yadav in illegal mining case unfounded. Says a grand alliance cannot be an open license to loot. Direct tax collection up to December 2018, higher than same period of previous year. Provisional figures show gross collections at 8.74 lakh crore rupees, that is 14% higher. And Virat Kohli's men's script history for India win first ever test series for country in Australia after day 5 of the fourth and final test is washed out due to rain. Jiteshwar Pujara is man of the series. First up, news on winter session of uh, Parliament. The Rajya Sabha today was adjourned till 2 p.m. after several members protested over multiple issues. Soon after the House convened, a formal business was conducted. Rajya Sabha Secretary General laid a copy of uh, three bills passed uh, last week by the Lok Sabha. The Lok Sabha at its sitting held on the 4th of January 2019 passed 1. The Company's Amendment Bill 2019 2. The Aadhaar and Other Laws Amendment Bill 2019 and third, the New Delhi International Arbitration Centre Bill 2019. I lay a copy each of the above said bills on the table. The Joint Committee Report on the Citizenship Amendment Bill 2016 was laid on the table by Swapandas Gupta. Sir, with your permission, I rise to lay on the table of the House a copy in English and Hindi of the report of the Joint Committee on the Citizenship Amendment Bill 2016. The chairman then informed that a House uh, that uh, while he has received notices under Rule 267, he is not permitting them. But soon uh, several members stood up at their seats and protested over multiple issues. The chairman said all issues will be considered but under relevant rules. But when the noise continued, despite the chair's request, he adjourned the house till 2 p.m. Honourable members, certain members have given notice under 267. I have not permitted any one of them. They can give notice under some relevant rules, and then they can be discussed, discussed uh, separately, provided if they are in order. The house is adjourned to meet at uh, 2 p.m. And our colleague Akhilesh Suman is now joining us uh, live uh, from Parliament. Akhilesh, uh, it is uh, just two days really left for the winter session of Parliament, including today. And, uh, you know, we were hoping uh, that with this uh, heavy legislative agenda that was slated uh, for today, uh, there would be some peace so that, you know, the proceedings can uh, happen. Uh, but sadly, this uproar by the opposition parties over multiple issues, including on a CPI probe against uh, Akhilesh Yadav, uh, you know, all, all those issues really disrupting the proceedings. You are right, Aswarya. Actually, it was always uh, enlightening. If you sit in the press gallery of the house and, uh, you know, hear the proceedings and uh, speeches of the members concerned and even the replies of the ministers and counter questions, it is really very interesting time in the uh, parliamentary proceeding. But, you know, that today the provocation was on the CBI issue and SP and BSP both were, uh, you know, uh, very uh, at unease, were at a 
Sudanese and then uh, they try to disrupt the house, they try to raise the issue and they also call that a discussion should be there in the house on this issue. And it, uh, both of these parties were supported by, you know, actually Congress. Congress, while supporting the Samajwadi party issue, uh, Congress also raised the issue of Rafal, that Rafal issue should also be discussed in Raj Sabha as it was discussed in Lok Sabha. And after the house was adjourned, it was interesting that uh, SP and Congress, uh, leaders uh, of both the parties, Ram Gopal Yadav of Samajwadi Party and Gulam Nabi Ajad of Congress, uh, associated by Mr. Anand Sarma, they hold a joint press conference, they addressed the media, and they told that, um, you know, uh, the Congress, the government is uh, using, uh, you know, misusing the CBI against the opposition, I mean, the alliance is uh, going to be formed among the opposition parties. And after that, uh, you know, GVL Narsimhara also, uh, our BJP also added the press conference and they told that, uh, uh, you know, uh, since uh, they are trying to create an alliance of corrupt, uh, 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 Congress party is going to side with SP. The SP, the BJP told, BJP spokesperson told that uh, SP, which is not ready to give any seat to Congress, uh, uh, you know, uh, in UP, is, uh, Congress is trying to get those seats and that is why Congress is standing with SP at this moment. So, you know, this type of charges and counter charges went and we will uh, see that when the house reassembles after lunch at 2 p.m., uh, how things come to the, at the floor of the house because triple talaq bill is also listed. So, uh, I think uh, both opposition and both treasury benches, they are interested to discuss this issue according to their own political and ideological position. But uh, how much uh, this uh, CBI issue uh, erupts again uh, in the house, it will be interesting to see you know, as well, yeah. Right, and uh, Akhilesh, uh, the, the triple talaq bill is also slated to be taken up in uh, the second half of uh, uh, the session. Uh, what can we expect? You know, on the triple talaq uh, issue, uh, you know, BJP and Congress both have issued, you know, uh, uh, whip for, to all its members to be present in the House. And uh, whip, uh, that indicates that both members, both parties, uh, wants that their members should be there, the issue should be discussed. And if there is necessity of vote, the vote should be given according to the respective uh, uh, political position. And uh, uh, what I am um, being told by the Congress party members and also by the Treasury bench is that uh, Congress wants to send the bill to the select committee. And Congress uh, tells that they are not going to make any compromise on this issue. And they don't want the bill to be go uh, the way it was passed in Lok Sabha. So I think Congress uh, will try to forcefully uh, stop this bill to be passed from uh, Rajya Sabha. And it may be associated by, by at least uh, Samajwadi party and RJD members who also hold the same position. Mm -hmm. But the BJP will try to get the bill passed because this is the uh, last uh, uh, but one day and BJP wants that once this bill is passed from Raj Sabha it will be uh, uh, enacted and this will be a great justice to the women in the Muslim community. So I think uh, it will be interesting time post lunch in Raj Sabha, Eswarya. Okay. Right, uh, Kilesh, you stay with us. We'll just come back to you. And Lok Sabha was adjourned repeatedly following disruptions in the House. The proceedings were first adjourned till noon and then until 12.30 p.m. following protests by the Congress and other parties on various issues. As the House met at 12.30 p.m., Speaker suspended the members of AIA, DMK and TDP for disrupting proceedings. Meanwhile, in a statement in Lok Sabha Defence Minister Nirmala Sitharaman termed the doubts raised by the Congress over her statement on HAL contracts as incorrect and misleading. I would like to set all doubts to rest by adding that I have received confirmation from the HAL that during 2014-2018 contracts amounting to 26,570.80 crores of rupees have already been signed with HAL and orders approximately 73,000 crores of rupees are in the pipeline. I will allow you. The details of these orders are placed at the Annexure 1 and Annexure 2 respectively. The above documents clearly confirm the correctness of my statement made on the floor of this House and that doubts raised in this regard are incorrect and misleading.
And let's go back to our colleague Akhilesh Suman. Akhilesh, again we saw repeated disruptions in the Lok Sabha as well, uh, leading uh, the Speaker to suspend some of the members of the AI, DMK as well as TDP. But a very important Defence Minister's statement really uh, coming after Rahul Gandhi accused her of lying in Parliament over the Rafale issue. Uh, it is really a battle lines and drawn over the issue of Rafale, you know, as far as, and once the battle lines, political battle lines are drawn, it becomes very difficult for uh, uh, withdraw it. So Congress has made a position that they have to uh, fight the next election on the issue of Rafale, and that is what uh, you can sense from the whole proceedings, the way uh, uh, proceedings are being disrupted in both houses of parliament. You can understand that Congress is adamant to keep this issue alive, whatever reply comes from the government side. So, so uh, I think that there is no uh, going back as far as Congress is concerned. But uh, uh, BJP and the, you know the government is trying to you know address the people from the floor of the house that yes, what Congress is going telling it is a sheer lie and the facts does not uh, you know support the assertions made by the Congress. And that is what Defence Minister Nirmala Sitaraman has done uh, just uh, after the question hour. So, so um, uh, actually after the zero hour. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that uh, this is the situation and this is the situation, it may uh, uh, be, you know, dragged by the Congress uh, till the House is getting uh, signed by tomorrow because mm -hmm. uh, what I am hearing, what I am getting from the Congress party that uh, this is the issue very important for them and this is an issue also important right. so that they can, uh, you know, manage the whole opposition together. So, right. I think... Uh, in the next half also, we may see some rever uh, re reverberations on this issue as well. Yeah. All right. Akhilesh, thank you so much for all those uh, react, uh, reactions there. And the Defence Minister's reaction came after Rahul Gandhi accused her of lying in Parliament on the Rafale issue. Rahul Gandhi, in fact, tweeted a media report uh, which claimed that not a single rupee of the said uh, 1 lakh crore rupees uh, went to HAL uh, as not a single order from the Rafale deal has been signed till now. The media report cited senior HAL management officials in order to back its claim. Meanwhile, the BJP has alleged that the SP and the BSP's allegation of political vendetta on the possibility of the CBI questioning former Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Kilesh Yadav in a case of illegal mining is unfounded. The issue was raised in the Rajya Sabha by the members of the SP and the BSP. The BJP alleged that by targeting the centre, the SP and the BSP are seeking to give a political colour to the investigations as their political existence itself is at stake. Inki jo dalil hai ki hum gadbandan bana rahe hain, isliye hume chhut mila jaye. Hamare bhrasta char ke liye, hamare upar koi karvaye na ho, is prakar ki appeal, yadi wo chate hain, court ke saamne ja kar de sakte hain, kyunki wo keh sakte hain, court ko hum bhrasta hain, phir bhi hume, hume, hume chhut diya jaye. Is prakar ki dalil prasut karke, apne aap ko jalil karne ki kaam kar rahe hain, जनता को मालूम है ये गुंडागर्दी करने वाली सरकार है भ्रष्टाचार में लिप्त सरकार है जिस प्रकार गायत्री प्रजापति को संरक्षण मिला था खुद मुख्यमंत्री के रूप में अखिलेश यादव का जिस प्रकार उनको बचाया गया सुप्रीम कोर्ट के आदेशों के बावजूद उन पर कार्रवाई नहीं होने दिया उनको अरेस्ट नहीं होने दिया तो इनकी क्या इतनी बड़ी जो मित्रता है उन पर इस प्रकार का बड़ा प्रेम क्यों है ये प्रदेश की जनता उत्तर प्रदेश की जनता भली भाली जानती है एंड दी एसपी एंड द बीएसपी आल्सो केम आउट विद देयर डिफेंस स्टेटिंग दैट द इशू ऑफ रॉन्ग डूइंग इज अगेंस्ट ऑफिशियल्स एंड नॉट अखिलेश यादव अखिलेश में फेस सीबीआई क्वेश्चनिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू द एजेंसी एफआईआर मेड पब्लिक ऑन सैटरडे द एजेंसी हैड आल्सो कैरीड आउट सर्चेस एट 14 लोकेशंस कानून तो बनाए थे अखिलेश गवर्नमेंट ने उसका उल्लंघन किया अगर किसी ने तो अखिलेश वहां कहां से आ जाते हैं लेकिन उत्तर प्रदेश का एक मंत्री दिल्ली में आकर प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस करता है और अखिलेश से सीबीआई पूछताछ करे इसकी मांग करता है इसकी इससे क्या निष्कर्ष निकाला जा सकता है जैसा कि अभी रामगोपाल जी ने कहा कि अधिकारी के ऊपर एफ है और एफ इस बात की है कि उसने प्रदेश में जो कानून बनाया गया सरकार द्वारा उसका उल्लंघन करते हुए अलॉटमेंट किया 
तो अगर उल्लंघन करा है तो किस चीज का किया है वो सरकार के निर्देशों का आदेशों का किया है जहां पर कि मुख्यमंत्री के रूप में अखिलेश यादव जी बैठे हुए थे तो उनके ऊपर कहां से आंच आती है मीनवाल बीजेपी एमपी प्रोटेस्टेड इन साइड पार्लियामेंट प्रेमिस अगेंस्ट अटैक ऑन बीजेपी एमपी वी मुरली धरन एंड सेस्ट्रल होम इन केरला यूनियन मिनिस्टर प्रकाश जावड़ेकर कॉल द अटैक एज कंडेमनेबल एंड डिमांडेड द रेजिग्नेशन ऑफ द लेफ्ट गवर्नमेंट इन द स्टेट ऑन सैटरडे अन आइडेंटिफाइड पर्सन ट्रू कंट्री मेड बॉम्ब एट मुरली धरन रेजिडेंस फॉलोइंग प्रोटेस्ट एंड वायलेंस इन द स्टेट Kerala witnessed unprecedented violence between the BJP and the CPIM workers and uh, both the parties have accused each other of orchestrating violence in the state following a hartal over the entry of a women in Shabrimala Yahi charitra hai wahan ki sarkar ka wahan mang kya karenge uski bharsana kar rahe hai kyunki yahan पियान पिनारी के गृह जिले में कन्नूर कन्नूर में ही ज्यादा हिंसा होती है इट हैज बिकम ए पॉलिटिकल मर्डर प्लेस तो यही है एंड देर फोर वी आर कंडेमिंग द वायलेंस एंड वी आर आस्किंग जस्टिस एंड इन मिड डे न्यूज विल टेक अ वेरी शॉर्ट ब्रेक हियर विल बी राइट बैक स्टे ट्यून्ड Mihir Sen an outstanding and extraordinary salt water swimmer of India He is the first Asian to swim the English Channel way back in 1958 And just 8 years later in 1966 he swam the seven seas of the five continents in one calendar year which etched his name in the Guinness Book of World Records In 1959 He was also conferred the Padma Shri and in 1967 he was awarded the Padma Bhushan. Welcome back. Direct tax collections during the first 9 months of the current financial year rose more than 14% compared to the corresponding period last year. The provisional figures of direct tax collections up to December 2018 show gross collections at 8.74 lakh crore rupees. Refunds amounting to 1.3 lakh crore rupees have been issued during April 2018 to December 2018. which is 17% higher than refunds issued during the same period in the preceding year the net collections after adjusting for refunds have increased by 13.6% to 7.43 lakh crore rupees during april to december 2018 an amount of 3.64 lakh crore rupees has been collected as advance tax And Finance Minister Arun Jaitley has said that the savings made through Aadhaar's implementation can fund three public welfare schemes of the magnitude of Ayushman Bharat. Terming Aadhaar as a game changer, Jaitley said in a post that its uh, use in the delivery of subsidies uh, have uh, helped to save uh, 90,000 crore rupees in the last few years by eliminating several duplicate non-existent and fake beneficiaries he also attributed the successful implementation of aadhar to the decisive leadership of prime minister narendra modi saying that the congress led upa remained half-hearted towards it because of its own contradictions and indecision he said that aadhar helps in the elimination of middlemen and the benefits go directly to the bank accounts Meanwhile Union Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad has said that the government too will soon make a linking aadhar with driving licenses mandatory explaining the move Prasad said that it would help out uh, uh, cut down really on driving license duplication and uh, would prevent offenders from escaping scot free and if a driving licenses are linked to aadhar these incidents would almost be eliminated Once a law is passed making aadhar driving license linking as mandatory it will become impossible to issue duplicate driving licenses 
as Aadhaar is uh, linked to a uh, user's biometric data and any user applying for a duplicate license will be flagged. Ravi Shankar Prasad also said that the digital payment transactions in the country have increased to over 2,070 crore rupees in 2017-18. And the centre has set up a high-level committee for the implementation of Clause 6 of the Assam Accord. The committee, headed by MP Bes Bruha, is to submit its report within six months. The nine-member committee has been given a broad mandate and includes eminent SMEs persons from different fields. Among other things, it will examine the effectiveness of the actions taken since 1985 to implement Clause 6 of the Assam Accord. It will hold discussions with various stakeholders, including social organizations, legal and constitutional experts, eminent persons from the field of art, culture and literature, conservationists, economists, linguists and sociologists. It will assess the appropriate level of a reservation of a seats in Assam Legislative Assembly and local bodies for the Assamese people. The BJP has announced formation of 17 groups for its preparations for the Lok Sabha polls. Party President Amit Shah announced the formation of these groups. Rajnath Singh will head a 20-member committee for the party's manifesto. Arun Jaitley, Nirmala Sitaraman, Ravi Shankar Prasad, Kiran Rijiju are among the members on this committee tasked with preparing the party's manifesto. Finance Minister Arun Jaitley will lead the publicity wing of the party for the general elections. Union Minister Nitin Gadkari will head a 17-member committee to reach out to social and volunteer organizations, while his cabinet colleague Sushma Swaraj will preside over a group that will produce literature for the polls. Prasad will lead the party's media group, while Union Minister Prakash Javrekar will lead the wing, which will uh, organize meetings of intellectuals. All parties' national spokespersons will be part of its media committee to be headed by Prasad. A committee will deal with the tours of the party leaders, uh, another with social media, while with a third group, whose 13 members include a party general secretary, Saroj Pandey will reach out to the beneficiaries of various government schemes. And the Election Commission has cancelled the Thiruvarur by poll schedule for 28th of January, which was necessitated by the demise of DMK leader M. Karunanidhi. This after political parties expressed a reservation in view of the ongoing relief measures following Cyclone Gaj. Now, Thiruvar is uh, one of the worst hit districts in Kaveri Delta region due to severe cyclonic storm Gaja in November 2018. Now, a fresh date uh, will be announced in due course of time. Sports News Now, India created a history by winning their first ever test series 2-1 on the Australian so side, uh, soil after the fourth and final test between India and Australia ended in a draw. And with this win, India ended its 71-year-long wait. The Australian side was trailing India by 316 runs in their second innings before the umpires called off the match. India bundled out Australia for 300 runs in their first innings in reply to 622 for 7 and enforced the follow-on. For Australia, Marcus Harris was the highest scorer in the first innings with his knock of 79 runs, while for India, Kuldeep Yadav was the pick of the bowlers as he took a 5-wicket haul in the first innings. Now, with 193 runs uh, scored in the first innings, Cheteshwar Pujara was adjudged the man of the match as well as man of the series for his superb 521 runs, including three centuries in the series. And with the win, Virat Kohli also became the first Indian as well as the first Asian captain to win a test series in Australia. President Ramnath Kovind, Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu and Prime Minister Narendra Modi have congratulated the Indian side on its win. It's obviously a very proud moment, um, more so because um, for the last 12 months we understand what we have gone through as a team. Uh, we understand the kind of cricket that we have been able to play. And I was just mentioning the fact that after losing tosses as well, we've been in the competition throughout the games that we've lost. Um, so we understood as a team we are on the right track. But the fact that the reward has come in the most historic series for Indian cricket is... You know, cherry on, on top of the cake. You know, changing history or creating history is still, I would say, not what I'm thinking of. 
it's pure satisfaction of the hard work of 12 months and to understand that what we believed in has been proven right and regardless of the whole world being against you if you're striving in the right direction and you have good intent god's going to reward you so that's what i'm more happy about and vice president m venkaiah naidu inaugurated uh, the national cadet corps uh, republic day camp at kariyappa parade ground in new delhi today more than 2000 cadets uh, from the three wings of the ncc army navy and air force participated in the camp speaking at the occasion the vice president highlighted the importance of discipline and character building he further said that the camp reflected the spirit of national integration as participants from the farthest reaches of the country participated in it ncc mandatory or compulsory going by what is happening in the country the threats that we have and also the attitude of one of our neighbor there is every need to promote discipline every need to promote commitment every need to promote patriotism among the younger generation ncc is one way to inculcate such habits and also provide such commitment we need to promote women's participation also in a big way see the cadets here the youngsters the girls they are also brimming with confidence so we if you give them an opportunity to them they will also excel and that's all in this edition of midday news thanks for watching